Yo, what is going on people? So today I'm going to explain to you a little bit on what you do with a layers config, what it means to the mask and all the different things. If you are new around here, I would appreciate a subscription and also I'll have a link to my Discord in the description. And also, you know, follow me on Twitter. I like Twitter followers. It makes me look special. No. Right, so... You see how this says CP grass? That says CP grass. That's what the RV mat is. That's what the actual texture is, right? So whatever this is here, so let's say we cut all that one one, that has to be one one, right? So what I normally do is I just keep it this bit. So that's actually called a texture, and that is the RV mat, all right? Now you can have as many of these as you want. Doesn't matter how many you have, they can all be different. Here you have to have your map legend PNG. That should already be in your folder, and this is obviously where you put the name of your folder, and this is a directory. Now on my grass, my grass is grey, so I have 82, then 90, then 76. So if I go to open now and I open my mask image this will appear with this so if we click this button here and then we see what color this is 82 and 90 and 76 now these here must be the exactly the same color as what you put on here if you don't do that it won't work it's the same with everything this darker color this is my concrete 33 35 32 look 33 35 32 this is what requires on your mask if I was to put this bit of concrete and I was to put some there, all that in game would actually be concrete after I generate my layers. So let's say for example you have generated all your layers now and you've just done the map, you've got all your textures sorted and what you want to do now is you want to open up terrain builder. right? Once you've opened up Terrain Builder, you obviously want to go File, Open, go to your P drive, find your map, and then open the TVP. Once you've done this, right, it says Map Frames on the right. You want to right click that and go to Properties. So right click Properties. Now, for some people, including myself there's been like bugs where the map's been stretched out of the satellite image in places so what i did is i went to samplers and where the size is i put it five five hundred and twelve instead of ten by twenty four i would recommend this then you go to processing make sure that this is here if that is not here it will come up with an error always then what you want to do is you want to click export satellite texture export surface mask and then you want to generate your layers if this comes up saying convert textures into PAA files click that because it will save you time if you can't then follow this step once you go into your daisy tools folder that's what you want to find you want to go in bin and you want to go into image to PAA editor then what you want to do is you want to double click image to PAA editor GUI.exe then there's something called add a source directory so you want to click that and you want to search for wherever you're going to which is the layers folder click ok now where it says override existing files you always want to have that ticked I didn't have that tip because mine actually crashed in the middle of it so that meant that actually some of the pictures from PNG already could to convert to PAA so I didn't want to overwrite the files that I have already created because that would be wasting time so once this is done, it might take a while to load depending on how many images you've actually got. You want to click process files. And once you process files, you'll have that done. I would recommend closing your terrain builder while it's generated. I don't know if you need to, but I always do it. And then literally all what you can do is you can go in bulldozer and, and all your textures will be there. So thanks for watching. This is the tutorial basically. What your layers config means, what your max means to you. When you use your PAA, this also does the satellite image as well. But yeah, remember to join my Discord. Thank you.